morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and today's shout out goes to Bayan Mahaswara. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, Bayan was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins this shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter 101, out on a cold, overcast, gloomy day out here in the desert. <laughs> but there's no wind, so I'm going to fly today. Uh, what I got for you today uh, is the ATOP P01 version 2. Now, um, my subscribers might have seen me review version 1 of this. It looks exactly the same as this, except version 1 had issues. It had design issues, folks, um, in that this aircraft is, has ailerons, but version 1 ailerons would only go upward, okay? Uh, the did not have the capability to go down. Okay, what that created was uh, problems when you wanted to turn this aircraft in that you'd have one aileron that was actually acting like a spoiler while the other aileron just doing nothing here remaining flat so this one aileron would destroy lift on one wing to cause the wing to tilt down where that was the idea and it would pivot around uh, by drag instead of providing more lift on the other surface to lift it up and twist it like that so the end effect was you had to fly very fast if you wanted to turn the aircraft if you were flying slow and, you, and this one aileron would come up, destroy lift, you'd end up crashing, stalling and crashing into the ground with uh, version one of the ATOP P01. Uh, since that, ATOP has gone back to the drawing board, corrected that issue. Now we have ailerons that actually move up and down. In addition, the aircraft, as with version one, is fully stabilized, so um, it should be easy for be most beginner flyers to fly. We'll find out when we fly today with this one here. Um, it is powered. I'm not doing a tabletop just show it since I did a tabletop for P01, but uh, or version one, but it is powered by a little 350 milliamp hour, I believe. Double checking 380 milliamp hour, one or one S battery with white low C connector, very common battery, so you can get more if you want to continue flying. Um, in addition, I mentioned it does have ailerons. It's a three-channel aircraft with throttle, pitch, and roll control. Now. The pitch elevator control, it, these elevators are also uh, connected to servo. There's two servos in here, one for the to move the ailerons and one to control the elevators on it. These elevators do not act as rudder. There is no rudder input to this aircraft. Turning is strictly done via the ailerons. Uh, the elevators just go up and down on this aircraft. And also it has a little brushed motor, so it's a, it is a brushed uh, RC aircraft similar to the uh, same as the p01 and both of those are these are obviously clones of a larger aircraft the nano talon <laughs> but uh it's it's a good design the nano talon is a good design so this should be a good flyer too now let's go over the controller real quick before we put it in the air this is the controller very basic controller you have throttle again no elevator even though this stick moves right and left this, this does not provide elevator control turns are through the ailerons on the right stick uh, right and left and pitch control is th also through the right stick since this is simulating a mode 2 controller um, The buttons on the top here. This button here is the rates button. You can uh, adjust the max pitch angle and roll angle of the aircraft by pressing this button here um, If you want to do harder turns again You press this button here to go into higher rate and it will do harder turns The other buttons on these are all inoperative with the exception of these buttons here. These are pitch trim buttons and these are roll trim buttons and that's about it okay to get the aircraft in the air first thing first you have to place the battery in between these little slots here now i'm going to put it a little bit back in the bay there and plug in the battery and hold on folks while i get the battery plugged in and then snap on the top lid like so, it hooks in the front and snaps in the back. And then put it on a flat surface and leave it undisturbed for about 10 seconds. Okay, before binding to the transmitter. Let those gyros calibrate. And the reason I'm saying this is, if you don't do this, the elevator control will be stuck, <laughs> okay? I find that seems to be an issue with this aircraft. If you don't let it, uh, this, the calibration complete with before binding, the elevator control seems to be stuck. But let's see now. Okay, we got elevator control and we have aileron control. Now notice the ailerons are going up and down, unlike version one. <laughs> so we're ready to go. Let's give it some throttle and see how it flies. Does it turn now? 
Yeah, finally we got turn. Oh, it's a nice flyer. Compared to version one, this one's a great flyer. It turns nicely. Turns on a dime now. Nice little plane, folks. So, ATOF finally fixed it. Let's go to higher rate. Second rate. Very sharp turns. Thank goodness, ATOP, you finally fixed it. <laughs> I hope this is coming out because it's a gloomy day today. But it flies very nicely now, finally. Turns on a dime. <laughs> and climbs nicely, too. Now, I got a bit of a breeze. It's bouncing around in that breeze very nicely. <laughs> but that stabilization system's working well with the breeze. Now, you can't do loops with this. No tricks or rolls. It's just a beginner's learn to fly plane. And it seems to work very well now. I wonder what was the issue with the version one, why they didn't figure that out, that that was a bad design. <laughs> but now this is a nice flyer. And actually this is good enough that you could actually fly this indoors. It, it turns well enough that this can be an indoor flyer now. If you want to fly in a gym, this will do it. But version one also, you had to go full throttle to turn it. And it would take this entire field where I'm flying to turn the thing. So happily they fixed the problem. I'm gonna get a little up trim. Up trim. And coming to the right. I'm trying to see how or I could turn it. Let me calibrate the gyros for a second. Let me glide it. We'll stop it right there. Just let it sit for a second. And okay, let's now those elevators seem to be stuck again. Let's see if that, that's a problem. Yeah, that's a problem. I'm not having any elevator control. So for some reason, sometimes that elevator control sticks on this. And you have to rebind the aircraft and let it sit for a second. If that does that. So hold on while I do that. If you land it and let it sit for a prolonged period like I just did there when I landed it, the elevators will freeze. I think it, it assumes that the flight's over <laughs> and it just stops working in. So you have to rebind it. Again, let it sit again like I said before for few seconds or 10 seconds at least before binding okay let's try it now okay have elevator control again we're good to go so let's fly it again <laughs> back to higher rate I like flying high rate folks can make these real hard turns as compared to version one could not. Whoopsie. Wasn't paying attention. Maybe I lost the elevator control again. We'll find that. Elevator's working. Nope. So that is another issue with this. No, notice. Okay, the aileron controls are working. Elevators are not right now. Notice. Okay. They seem to freeze every once in a while. I'm not sure what the issue there is. So notice. Going up, going down. The elevators are not moving. The ailerons are still working. Notice right and left. Now notice if I give it pitch. Up or down on the pitch. It doesn't work. Now to get these elevators working again, like I said, I have to restart the aircraft. And to do such... Move that back here. You have to unplug and replug the battery in. Let it sit for about 10 seconds, and then it, the elevators will start working again. So, okay, plugged in the battery again. I have to rebind it. Put it on the flat ground. Let it sit for a bit. Okay, that should be enough. And reconnecting. Now the elevators are working. 
and watch. Notice they're going up, up, and down now. And now they, I do have control over them with the sticks. So I don't know what that is there. Atop needs to look into that too. That seems to be a, a problem. Hi, Rate. If you stop flying, they stop, the elevators. <laughs> Let's go up a bit higher for this. Increasing throttle. Try to get it up higher. I want to see how it glides. Gliding. It, it doesn't glide very well. <laughs> glides like a potato. <laughs> Watch, throttle off. Well, there you go, Steve. <laughs> so you've got to keep some power on this thing. But yeah, this could be an indoor flyer for those cold winter days like today. The elevator's still working. Coming around, coming around. Right turn. Yeah, you could easily fly this indoors in a gym now that they fixed that aileron problem. It's actually not a bad plane. With the exception of that uh, issue with the elevators. I don't know what that is. Why is that an issue? Make sure I'm still in high rate. I like flying in high rate for these hard turns. Hard turn capability. It's showing how I'm doing it. Hard rate. Right. I hope that's showing up against the sky. I'm sorry, I have to apologize for today's weather, but I, <laughs> you fly when you can. <laughs> this is a good flyer. Keep wanting to give it rudder. There's no rudder control on this, I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm still going to use rudder. <laughs> Got to keep it in practice. Whoa! Okay, maybe that battery's getting low now. Elevator's still working. Elevator's still working. Elevators are working. Go back in the air. Yeah, that battery's getting weak now. <laughs> It's a good little plane now. With the exception of the aileron or the elevator. <laughs> it's just a glitch in the software, I think. To tell you the truth. Because sometimes, like I said, if you let it, if you bind it right away to the controller without you know, the gyros sync up, the elevator doesn't work. And also, if you don't give it elevator control for it doesn't feel any elevator control for about five seconds or so. No freeze, five to ten seconds. The ailerons or the elevator will freeze. And it freezes in a level position. I don't know why it does that. But it's a good flyer now. Um, one other difference between this and version one, this one did not come with the um, what do you call it? decals attached yet? Yeah, I had to install the decals on this one. Version one had the decals attached, but this one you have to put the decals on yourself with version two. So if you get, have to install the details, you got version two. If they're already installed, you got version one. So that's how you tell the difference. <laughs> For those wondering, say, well, what version did I get? <laughs> if you put the decals on, you got this version. If they were already on. You got version one. And the other way to tell is if the aileron only goes up. Oh, this is a nice flyer. I'm, I'm enjoying it now. <laughs> I'm enjoying this little potato. <laughs> I call it the flying potato. <laughs> if 
flies a lot longer than I thought it would. There we go, a little potato. Now, if you could turn off the stabilization just momentarily so you could do loops, that would be perfect little thing. <laughs> yeah, I guess it could do rolls, it's got ailerons. My goodness, it flies along with that little battery. Okay, now it's getting, now I'm giving it full throttle to stay in the air. We gotta land it. Coming around, coming around, coming around. Uh -uh. Still going. I'm, I'm going to keep on going until this thing stops. Oh, I'm full throttle though right now, folks. i got to land it. I'm going to save that battery. Coming in, coming in, little potato. So, that's the ATOP P01 Sky Soar from ATOP. Finally, it works. <laughs> so, pretty neat. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101. A little one of my decals is falling off. Quadcopter 101. Let me get sun, with the sun. <laughs> what sun we got behind me? Quadcopter 101 sighting out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.